They're about ready to come to the green here. Chase Briscoe back a few rows. It is the 20 of Christopher Bell. Cole Custer in the double zero. It's an elimination race from ISM Raceway. Really, Cole Custer went to that bottom trying to shortcut it. That messes up your entry. In return one, though. Can't enter the angle you want to. Look at that three wide. All the way on the outside. And Zane Smith in the eight. Here comes the 18 of Riley Herbst coming into the mix as well. Dave. On lap two, Austin Sindrick nearly It'll spun. Come on, 22. Around goes the 18. Herbst is going to get into the wall. Caution comes out. Riley Herbst just coming into contact there. Know, Michael Lynette was there. And we have seen more contact in the first 14 uh, laps of coming. this race than maybe we've seen in 200 laps before. It's only 32 laps to go before the end of the first stage, right? So you got to go. They dropped the green flag. They know the intensity level has got to ratchet up quickly. See right here, Riley Herbst underneath the net, drives in, and just never gets to the bottom of the racetrack. When a car is on the outside of you, the, it, it, you want to drive in deeper, right, to get next to him. But you actually have to lift a little earlier because your corner angle is messed up. you got to lift a little earlier to get to that bottom. He just tried to carry a little bit too much speed getting in the corner. Now he's loose. There's really nothing you can do at that point. It's just Rick. Steve said it great. This is young drivers, right? This is not Sunday's race. These guys want to be drivers that, on Sunday, but they're developing those skills. And these things, it, it makes those guys on Sunday make this look easy. It's mm -hmm. not. You know, all those small little things that you have to do, they come with experience and they come with time. Christopher Bell has chosen the outside line in that 20 for the restart. Cole Custer will be on the inside. Tyler Reddick and Justin Allgaier making up row two. Hold your breath. There they go. <laughs> They've all got to come together, though, as they come into turn one. Bell with the advantage. The fight for second is on. Allgaier trying to take it away from Cole Custer. And your vision is not deceiving you. They are running on the apron of the racetrack. That is not the surface. As we see the final lap for Christopher Bell, a little over a two-second lead. Talk about experience, though, and Justin Algar has all that experience. See Chris Morell running up there in that traffic compound. He knows if he can give his crew chief a little more time to think about the changes rather than the caution coming out and then giving you that information, he has a better shot at getting the right change. I don't like cramming for a test, right? Give me some time to study. <laughs> well, Christopher Bell, uh, he definitely put on a clinic here as he wins stage one. It's his 21st stage win this year and sixth already in the playoffs. He wins stage one. Points given out at the end of the stage, and so Allgaier is going to get nine points for finishing second. Chase Briscoe's going to be one of the first into his stall there. Still very loose inside that 98 car. It's going to be Ford Goodyear tires and Sunoco fuel and a wedge adjustment for Chase Briscoe to get that car tightened up. Then Michael Nett in the center of your screen. Same situation, just loose, lacking rear grip. Ford Goodyear tires, Sunoco fuel, Kelly. Justin Allgaier at the bottom of your screen said that laterally he was free. His bigger issue, he just kept getting tighter and tighter across the center there. Going to make a small track bar adjustment and air pressure adjustment for tires, Marty. Kelly, a clean sweep, sweep for Christopher Bell, who's led every lap to this point. He said the car felt kind of greasy taken off. That's when the double zero was kind of challenging for challenging him for the lead, but too tight on exit later in the run. The biggest problem was three and four, an air pressure adjustment for the 20 car. Takes four Goodyear tires and wins the race. Off pit road, Rick. No position change for Christopher Bell. Still out front. It was Cole Custer and Tyler Reddick both gaining a spot over Allgaier. And remember, you cannot cross that yellow line on the inside until you get to the start finish line. And a lot do immediately. Look at that. Shortening the racetrack a ton. Here comes Tyler Reddick. Three wide as they go to one. Look how low Reddick is. It's a car with a half off the line on the bottom side of it. Allgaier all the way up to second on that restart. There you go, that outside lane. That bad pit stop ended up actually helping him. And Christopher Bell, he was locked in. Right? What he's doing right now, he's just sending that signal. If you're gonna, if you're gonna win a championship, you're gonna go through me. I killed you last week at Texas, and I'm going to do it again today, and I'm going to do it next week at Miami. You're going to have to go through Christopher Bell to win this championship. 
three and four the final time in stage two as that 36 gets a little bit loose Josh Williams goes out of the way but it's stage two victory for Christopher Bell he swept stage one and two now Allgaier finishes second again Cole Custer is third Reddick fourth and Michael Annette in the top five then it's Briscoe Sendrick John Hunter Nemechek Noah Gregson and Zane Smith and Chase Briscoe would be the first one into it. Stahl said that the car is getting better there. It's starting to just tighten up in the center. It's going to be Ford Goodyear tires and Sunoco Fuel and a track bar adjustment for him. In the center of your screen, Michael Annette had great lap times there late in the run. As Steve said, it's going to be Ford Goodyear tires just losing time in the entry to turn one. Kelly. Sonago in that seven car still has a vehicle that's just too tight across the center. Put some tape on the grill. Ford Goodyear tires, Marty. A nearly perfect day for Christopher Bell so far. Kelly, he's led all the two laps to this point, 92 in the books and max points at this point of the race as well. To the car to be even better though, four good your tires and an air pressure adjustment to fix it over in one and two where he's too loose and once again, they hold serve here on pit road, Rick. Yeah, pretty good race off of pit road there. Cole Custer and Justin Allgaier. Cole Custer, as I mentioned, he is now a part of the championship four based upon points. He's locked in. Justin Algar lost the spot on pit road. And he get, had he not lost that spot, he would be in control of this restart. Instead, he's on the bottom. He's on the bottom, it gets a really nice start by the seven. So much so, Custer chases him down. Can Algar take the lead from the bottom? He's able to do it. Here comes Tyler Reddick as well in the two. We talk about opportunity. That 20 misstep right there, it is green light for Justin Allgaier. Forget the year, forget what's happened. Win at Phoenix, carry that momentum to Miami. And great job by Justin, right? He didn't he didn't go into this, this restart thinking, oh my gosh, we lost a start. I mean, we could have been on the pole here. Instead, he just went and took the lead. Nice job. Took it away. The fight for second now heating up as Reddick to the inside of Custer. Custer running that higher line as is Chase Briscoe behind him. And Bell goes around. Bell trying to find his way from the back to the front after the pit road speeding there. penalty. Spun, no contact. You heard it there, spun, no contact. That's that quickly things change in this sport. Christian right Bell down. out there dominating this race. Pit road penalty, has to go to the back, charging to the front, trying to rumble on that apron and it just came around on him. When does the right front blow here? Because we saw it was down. He slides a long ways before it goes down. It shows you. There it went. There it went. That's the, that was the best race car on the racetrack. It shows you how hard Christopher Bell is pushing his car to have that speed. Good job behind him avoiding. Clements and Briscoe making up row number one. Clements in the 51 on the inside. He dives down to the apron, goes through the dog leg. The fight for the lead now. Austin Sendrick. Here he comes way down on the inside of the apron, fighting for the lead. Austin Sendrick. <laughs> a little too low, maybe. Oh, my goodness, was he on the bottom. I don't even know if that's the bottom. I don't know what you even call that. The infield. I call that the infield. Bright yellow number 19. That's Brandon Jones making the move on the outside of Clements. He's going to take second away. How about Briscoe? Briscoe was way up into the traction compound leading this race. And there, a little bobble by Brandon Jones. Here comes the seven of Allgaier. Allgaier's got to be very disciplined. Great job. Left side tires all over that yellow line. And there's second. Allgaier takes second away. Now he sets his sights on the 98 of Briscoe. All right, Rick, right now, take a mental picture of that playoff leaderboard on the left-hand side. The 98 is in, the 7 is out. As the 7 runs the 98 down, that can change and will change dramatically if the 7 becomes the leader. And right now, Justin Allgaier is racing his way into the championship four. He's got 61 laps to go, but he's out front. A little bit of roughing up the 98 here, slid the tire, got up into the back quarter panel. And guys, is that something that is in the back mind of Chase Briscoe now? Yeah, I mean, probably. I mean, Justin Algar right there, he saw the left front smoke off that left front tire. Got in there just a little bit too deep and up the racetrack. And Briscoe knows that he wasn't as fast as the second, but still, if he gets that caution and he gets Algar, then he can, he can play that card a little bit, right? Well, you just said the magic word. 
the yes. caution. 60 oh, yes. laps to go. Justin Allgaier now has led 60 laps. The most laps led have been Christopher Bell, 92. He led the first 92 of 94 laps of this race. And then speeding on pit road put him in the back. But Allgaier, 61 laps led now for Allgaier with 24 to go. Allgaier's making sure that nothing breaks on that race car. Break. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Justin Allgaier yesterday said, this could be the most disappointing season, even though we've been consistent and have a record number of top 10 finishes. We need to win races. Now the question is, we talked about fuel. Are the calculations right? Only a half lap to go. Is there enough fuel in the seven to finish? Will this give him the momentum to potentially get a championship? He comes off turn number four, and Justin Algar wins at ISM Raceway. Excellent job, man. We said we needed to come here to win. We did what we had to do. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Crew congratulating crew chief as well. And you see the emotion there with all guys. Okay, boys. You guys are awesome, man. I can't even begin to tell you how awesome this is. A championship is in front of him. Now the championship four is determined. It will be Christopher Bell, Justin Allgaier, both getting into the championship four with wins. Cole Custer and Tyler Reddick will get in based upon points. So Justin Allgaier advances to the championship four with today's win. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.